decide to either write a song for myself or, or someone else, you know, I, it, it's, it's a strange process. I don't, I don't sit and say, okay, I, I'm gonna write this song for so-and-so. You know, I could just be putting down this, this melody that I hear in my head. And then maybe halfway through, I'll hear somebody else's voice. For instance, when I wrote the song, Live My Life, for Winnie Kumalo, she asked me to write her song. And I thought to myself, oh, wow. But then again, because I had worked with her, I kind of like knew certain things about her um, that she didn't mean to tell me, you know, good things, you know, because we worked together, so we're in the same space and she would share, you know, with me certain things. So when she asked me to write the song, it was such an easy process because I kind of like collected certain things that she had told me and mixed them with how I thought she felt about those things, you know what I mean? And um, so it was such an easy process, you know, the song was perfect for her in terms of uh, range, you know, the lyrics, the, the melody. I can't really put it into words because I'd, I'd be lying to you if I, if I said I had words for everything. It's just a strange process, you know, it's like being on stage, you know, something happens, something takes over. You don't know half the things that happen and then you wake up at the end. I wake up at the end of each song. 